hi guys how are you guys doing thank you so much for watching my videos and to my returning subscribers thank you so much i am a nigerian currently living in poland and i'm going to show you guys how to achieve your infinite wrap dress this is one dress that you can wear to any event and you can rock it in different ways so we have about five to seven ways in which you can rock this dress which at the end of this tutorial i'm also going to show you guys how you can rock this dress so all you have to do is to stay tuned to the end in the course of this video if you have any questions please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section or if you have any topic you want me to make a video on please go ahead and drop it in the comment section so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your infinite wrap dress you basically need your waist measurements and your skirt length now i have a very detailed size chart video i'm going to put it somewhere on the screen you can go ahead and watch the video after watching this now this video simply explains how you can get the body measurements for all sizes from your size 6 to like size 24 26 which includes like the bust the tie the necklace the shoulder measurements and I've also made it very easy for you guys by releasing a size chart thank you so much to everyone who has ordered their size charts and if you haven't ordered it yet the link to get your size charts is going to be in the description box below trust me it is a life-changing chart that every designer should have and for the sake of this video i'll be giving off 10 percent discount to everyone who is going to click on the link and get your size charts so this dress now i am making it for a size 8 right so now if you have a client or a customer that says oh i want you to make a dress for me i um, a size 8 what will you use for the waist measurements what will you use for your bust what will you use for your skirt length you know and I feel like the world is revolving that you need to also learn how to make dresses without having a physical contact of your customers or your clients so this size chart just enables you to do that easily now for a size 8 for an example like I said earlier for this style we just need the waist measurements and the skirt length so for a size 8 what is the waist measurement? Put it in the comment section if you know what the waist measurement is. I'm going to leave that as a puzzle and tell you guys when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial. And also, what will be the skirt length for a size 8? So let me give you an hint for a size 8 skirt length. Now, of course, the skirt usually stand on your waist, right? We put or we place our skirt on the waist. So the distance from your waist to your hip is what? How many inches do you have? from your waist to your hip measurements i feel like i'm explaining to you guys how you can achieve this especially when your clients or your customers are not in physical contact with you right just make a dress for me a simple dress using a size 8 this is how you are going to come across your measurements for this style and when you get the size chart the size chart is very comprehensive that it has all the measurements and one thing again is we have the male size charts we have the female size charts and we have the children size chart for our kiddies way the link to the size chart is going to be in the description box below it helps you to up your game and also be a better version of yourself so I'm going to leave the waist measurements in and I will answer that when we get to the cutting part of the video. But for the length now, what is the length or the skirt length of a size 8? Now the distance from your waist measurement to your hip measurement is usually between 8 inches and 9 inches. That is like a standard for people, especially for those who are within a certain size chart, which I also explained in the size chart, right? So let's say from size 8 to size 14. It's usually 8 to 9 inches distance from our waist measurement to our hip measurement. While for the plus sizes, it's usually between 9 inches to 10 inches, depending on the range of the size that you fall under or you fall into. Now, our skirt length doesn't stop at our hip, right? Where your skirt stops is usually on your knee level. However, your skirt can be above your knee level or below your knee level. If your skirt length is above your knee level, it simply means you will just deduct inches from the basic waist to knee length right because you want it a bit shorter but if the length of the skirt is below your knee length it simply means you will have to add few inches to your basic one so that the length of the skirt can be 
below the knee now the number of inches you add if you want your skirt to be longer than your knee depends on how long you want it to be right and also the number of inches you deduct depend on how short you want it to be now when it comes to the long skirts like a long skirt that gets to the floor that also depends on the height of the person now for your height in the size chart i also explained how to use your height to get a gown length when i mean gown length i mean like the one that gets to the floor i also have that explained in the size chart and you can also follow me on my social media handle my instagram my tiktok and my facebook has the same handle on the screen you can also send us a message to get the size chart directly from us so now we have ways to hip to be eight to nine inches basic for a size eight to size 14 and what we are working on is a size eight measurement right so we are going to have eight inches you can say eight you can say eight and a half you can say nine it falls within that range depending on how you know the shape of the back side is okay now from our waist to knee length within those size range is also 17 to 18 inches our waist to knee length falls within 17 to 18 inches waist knee length 17 to 18 inches so if i want it very short it simply means that my gown length could be 15 inches or 16 inches if i want it to be long it simply means i can do 20 inches or 22 inches or 24 inches it all depends on how long i want it to be or how short i want my skirt to be from the basic one i hope in this video i've been able to also explain and to guide you on how to achieve certain measurements especially when you are dealing with just size charts alone so the basic measurement for this dress is our waist measurement which i'm going to tell you when i'm cutting and also if you know that in this point for a size 8 what is the waist measurement put it down in the comment section why for the lens i've also explained how to achieve the lens so just in case if you don't have a physical contact with your clients you know what lens to use for the skirts right you know right you know because i've explained that so I'm going to be making use of 20 inches for my length because I want it to be a bit longer than the basic um than the basic which is 17 to 18 inches. If I want it shorter, I can use 15 or 16 inches. It all depends on me. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section. Or if you have any video you want me to make, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. Thank you so much. Now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe trainings are available we have online trainings and also physical trainings all the details are below the description box or you can send us an email or a message on our social media platform on the screen now let's get to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys, I'm making use of this African print for it and if you got it right in the comment section, just let me know. So the waist measurements we have is 28 inches, right? So I'm making use of 28 inches for this um, pleated skirt, pleated infinite wrap dress, right? So we have 28 inches. Now, how will you know the number of, you know, the number of inches to use to be able to achieve your pleated effect or your gathered effect? It all depends on what you want. Now, all you have to do is to multiply your waist measurement by three or you multiply your waist measurement by 2.5. So let's say you really don't want it to be that full or you're working with limited amount of fabric. All you have to do is to multiply your waist by 2.5 inches. But if you want it to be very full and if you have sufficient fabric you are working with, then you multiply your waist measurement by three. It gives you like a very full effect of what you have, okay? So my waist is 28 inches. I'll go ahead and multiply my waist by three. I have 84 inches. Let me know if you got the waist measurements in the comment section and I'm making use of this fabric. Now for the length of this fabric, so we've agreed with me that for the wideness of this fabric, we'll be making use of 84 inches. How did we come across the 84 inches? All we did is we multiplied our waist measurements by three. Like I said, you can multiply it by 2.5 or by three inches. It all depends on how full and also the fabric you are working with. So for the width of this fabric now we have 84 
and for the length of this fabric i have 20 inches for my length i also explained that they are basic or standard measurements that we have however if you want yours to be longer or shorter you go ahead and add or deduct inches from it so i have 20 inches the basic um waist to knee length is between 17 to 18 inches i have 20 inches which includes my two inches sewing allowance so don't forget that the standard measurement doesn't include your sewing allowance so you go ahead and add your sewing allowance to it so if i have 18 inches plus 2 inches for my sewing allowance i have 20 inches so for the length of this fabric which is going to be the skirt length we have 20 inches 18 inches for the regular length plus 2 inches for the sewing allowance and then for the wideness of it we have 84 inches which simply means that we multiplied our waist measurement by 3 so this is what we have for this set of fabric now now the other part of this fabric is an infinite wrap dress so once you, are, once you have your pleated effect the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to go ahead and cut out two fabrics you are going to go ahead and cut out two pieces of fabrics this way you can see i have two pieces of fabrics this way i have two pieces of fabrics this way this is what it looks like now for the wideness of it it all depends on how full you want it to be and also you also have to consider the bust measurement of the clients you are also working with and i will say that for this infinite wrap dress it is better it is okay for you to have it very Full so that it can cover up all the bust area and also very long so that you can tie it in different ways don't forget that I said this infinite wrap dress can be rocked in different ways and I'm going to show you guys at the end of this video so for the wideness of this for the wideness of this now I have 13 inches which includes my sewing allowance I have 13 inches I have 13 inches which includes my sewing allowance so I'm going to sew it at this edge and I'm also going to sew it at this edge so I have two pieces 13 inches 13 inches that is what it's going to use to cover up the front area and like I said it is better you even have enough front area so that you can wrap up the bust parts you know and style it in different ways now for the length of these two pieces it totally depends on how long you want it to be however note that the longer it is the more you are able to wrap it and also create a lot of styles with it and from the title you know that it is infinite wrap dress meaning there are different ways in which you can wrap it so ensure that the length you are using is long enough in order for you to wrap it as different ways as possible it is better you have enough length than the length not being enough so for me now i have about 70 inches long so what that simply means is that you know this piece alone is 70 inches and this piece alone is 70 inches note that it is not 35 35 inches 35 inches is actually very 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 small you won't be able to wrap it you know in different ways so you can increase yours you can make yours to be 90 inches you can make yours to be 100 inches it all depends on like i said the body size also and what you are dealing with so now i have two pieces the wideness of this piece now is um 13 inches and for the length let's go ahead now and measure the length so let's measure the length so that you can see what we have for the length so i'm going to fold this into two so whatever i have here i'll just multiply by two so i have about 35 inches you can see that is 70 inches plus one inch for the sewing allowance it means i have about 70 something inches so once i'm done folding you know the edge of it i'm going to have 70 inches to wrap it across my body size so this is basically what you need you can see how simple it is now let's get into the sewing part of this video what is the first thing you have to do when you want to sew this dress or this infinite wrap dress the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go on the sewing machine and go ahead and fold these edges so you fold these edges i usually fold my edges in two like i double fold it so that i have a very neat edge so i'll go ahead now and fold this edge i'll also go ahead and fold this edge also so we are simply folding this edge of the wrap and also folding 
this edge of the wrap so you do that for the two pieces of your wrap now another thing also is this is our skirt or the fabric we are using for the lower part which is the skirt what you have to do now is also to go ahead and fold the lower part of this skirt right fold the lower part of this skirt so this is what we have so i'll go on the sewing machine now and do that and show you guys what we have so another thing we have to do is to go ahead and cut out our band so our band our waist is 28 inches so we have 28 inches plus i'm adding two inches for the zip allowance it simply means i'm going to have 30 inches so for the wideness of the band it totally depends on how wide you want your band to be so you can make mine is three inches you can make yours to be four you can make yours to be two maybe you want a tiny band you can use two inches if you want a big band you can use three you can use four inches it depends on you but for me my wideness of my band is um three inches and for the length i have 30 inches which is my waist 28 inches plus 2 inches for my sewing allowance that's 30 inches the next thing we have to do now is you have to go ahead and pleat your your dress your skirt on the band so we've gone ahead now to pleat you know the fabric on the band and once we are done pleating it this is what <coughs> This is what it looks like and I've also gone ahead to weave it so that you can have like a very neat finishing. So this is what we have. So this is our band now. You can see we have our band two and a half inches once I'm done sewing it. Then I have the pleated part of it that I pleated on the band, right? So the next thing we are going to do now is I'm going to go ahead now and close up this part. So I'm going to go ahead now and fixing my zip. I'm going to go ahead and fixing my zip. After fixing my zip, then I'll close up this part. So I'll simply close up this part and then go ahead and fixing my zip. But you can see what it looks like. You can see how full it is and how the fabric is standing because I multiplied the waist by three inches. After joining the band, I've gone ahead to attach the band to the skirt and I've also gone ahead to close it and also we have our zipper so we have a very simple pleated skirt this way so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to attach the infinite wrap area to this skirt to attach it don't forget that we have two straps that we've gone ahead to fold already we already have two straps right so what you are going to do now is you are going to um mark the middle point of this right the middle point the middle point of this band right and then you take one part of this um you take one part of this stripe and then pleat on it this way right and then we'll take the second we'll take the second stripes right and then from the middle point again pleat it so basically we are just pleating these stripes from the middle to this part and also pleat it from the middle also to this part so once i'm done doing it i'll show you guys what it looks like so Okay, this is what it looks like. 